BMW may be hanging with the General. News on the Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. A new Mercedes is leaked by Itch. And we have another edition of Dumbass Tuesday. What's up, Internet World? I'm Derek D. This is Fastlane Daily, also known as Awesome. Right, AK? Absolutely, Derek D. All right. Hey, guys, guess what? Yo, what's that? <laughs> Yo, what's that? All right, I'm going to tell you. BMW has reportedly signed a deal to team up with General Motors to co-develop fuel cell technology. That's what's up. If you remember, a couple weeks ago, BMW signed a partnership agreement with Toyota on eco-friendly technology sharing as well. The deal between BMW and GM gives BMW access to GM's fuel cell technology development center, while in exchange, GM would receive cash from BMW to offset the research and development costs. The move does make sense if you think about it. General Motors has received huge tax breaks and government stimulus cash for fuel cell technology research, grants that BMW as a German company don't have access to. BMW, by making a limited investment, is reaping the benefits of several years of work. Now, don't think this means we'll see BMWs looking like Malibus and Chevy Volts. We'll probably just share many of the same patents and technology in fuel cell vehicles that we expect to see on the roads by 2015. So mainly, it's just kind of an under the hood kind of deal. BMW and GM, they go together like Jelly Deal and chocolate. Right, AK, what's Jelly Deal, don't you? Didn't you say that's a big, like, UK thing? Maybe. All right. I, think, I think it is. I think right. it is. I don't know. Blame AK, not me. <laughs> <laughs> According to TeamSpeed.com, Lamborghini could be showing off an LP700-4 Aventador Roadster at the Geneva Auto Show next spring. Enthusiast Forum members have already confirmed that the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has given approval to the Roadster's specifications and design. So now we're just waiting for Lamborghini to pull the trigger on its reveal. The Roadster will feature the same 6.5 liter V12 engine as the coupe with approximately 690 horsepower. All wheel drive with a seven speed transmission too, with an estimated 11 miles per gallon in the city and 17 miles per gallon on the highway. Now actually when you think about it, it's pretty damn good. That's better than JF's 10 year old Audi. Right JF? Well Derek, well the thing is my Audi, and it, uh, it's, it's According to some insiders who claim they've already seen the car, Lamborghini went through great lengths to improve the removable soft top, since we all know the Murcielago Roadster had the worst top since John Travolta's toupee. Hey, I'm not saying he definitely has one, just looks a little suspect here. I mean, come on, dude, you were Danny Zuko. You had a nice quaff. All right, isn't that what the term is? Quaff, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and finally, a member of German car forum named Itch has successfully obtained a brochure of what appears to be the next generation Mercedes SL. Is it Ich or Itch? I think it's Itch or Ich. But either way, we're relying on a guy named Itch or Ich for this story? Okay. Anyway, due out at the Detroit Auto Show, the new SL features a new front chin to accommodate European pedestrian crash standards and more fluid-like ass similar to the CLS. Fluid-like rear ass, huh? Chris. Uh, uh, that, that's what she said. All right. Many of the other style details mimic the car's baby sister, the SLK, which just came out. The 2013 Mercedes SL has gone on a diet too, with the extensive use of aluminum, or aluminium, as some of you may say. The new car will weigh over 310 pounds less than the current generation, while being 20% more rigid. Fuel economy is also expected to increase by upwards of 30%. The car will be officially revealed at the Detroit Auto Show on January 9th. Hey Rick, what's the new Mercedes SL fin to come through like? Fin to come through like a boss. How oh, exactly it is. It's also Tuesday, so what does that mean, AK? Dumbass Tuesday. Dumbass Tuesday. Tuesday, that's right. Now normally, I like to choose some dumbass dude doing something asinine. We not only have a chick this time, but a Price is Right model. Now some of you may have seen this, but she was driving out a new Ford Mustang for a contestant when this happened. Yes, the chick drove right into the set. Now I know that Mustang is not manual. You see, it's very simple. Listen, gas is on the right, brake is on the left. The best part though is when the chick says, Wait, what? Not again? This has happened before? Hey, Price is right. Do not let this chick drive. Let her just stay looking hot standing next to cars. 
I love her every time she notices the cameras on her though, she snaps back into model mode and waves. She's like, oh, and real quick, fast forward, fast forward a little bit. Yeah, Drew Carey's suit is ripped on the armpit. Like, what's going on there? Come on, Drew. I'm gonna go ahead and say both of you are dumbasses for today. Drew Carey and the model who crashed into the set. So there it is. Well, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. And you guys have a great day. Right, AK? That's what I say. Let's just go play. I was born on a Tuesday. You were born on a Tuesday. Hooray. Hooray. By the bay? By the bay. Yeah, don't say I said that already. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go get a burger at Bobby Flay's. <laughs> Here's a tray. <laughs> Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.